He's the tradie who's left families thousands out of pocket. Dominic claims to run a reputable fencing company. But these clients say he got their money, then did a runner. So we tracked him down. He needs to be exposed. These are yeah. hard-working families that have handed Look, over cash to you. He's the smooth-talking tradie that's quick to quote and even quicker to take his client's cash. This is calm. This is a con. They've paid you 5000 3000 1600 in one go. Why aren't you paying them back? I would have called at least, you know, 100 times. Where is that money? It's gone into materials. But you haven't even conducted any work on some of these properties. Yeah. This is where we were going to put the fence. Yatish Tanner is one of many victims claiming to have been stung by fencing frauds to Dominic Nguyen. He first came across Dominic, or Tam as he also goes by, on Facebook Marketplace. We were finishing this you know, massive uh, project here and the only thing that, that was pending was the landscaping. Operating under the name of Imperial Gates and Fencing, he then turned up to give a quote. Overall number came to about $25,000 and he said, uh, look, I would need, you know, if you want me to you know, book you in, I would need about 20% deposit. But after transferring a $5,000 deposit, the fencer never came back. Maynard says he hired Dominic to repair and raise his side fence. After arriving at the house, he says the tradie quoted $6,000, but would require a 50% deposit before work could start. I said, because I'm in a hurry, so OK, we'll do it. He said he's going to do it for four days to a week max. A week later, he says two men did arrive to start the job, but it was tools down after just two days. He said, uh, next week, same guy will come, but nobody turned up. $3,000 later, and all he had to show was this. A few posts, a pile of rubbish, and a backyard that was wide open. I rang him around 60 times to 70 times in an hour. And there's not a single answer. We discovered Dominic Nguyen is quite the entrepreneur. Along with running Imperial Gates and Fencing, there's also DNM and Co, a company connected to a number of other fencing businesses. Despite all this, though, he doesn't even have a contractor's licence. There's always some people who will take advantage of consumers, particularly possibly inexperienced consumers. New South Wales Fair Trading Commissioner Rose Webb. Any building work over $5,000 can only be done by someone who holds the proper licence and we only issue licences to people who show they've got the right qualifications. So confident in his craft, it appears Dominic is also keen to pass on his tricks of the trade for a cost. Advertising on Gumtree, he offers to teach you from scratch and if you sign up for one of his courses, he even claims you could one day be earning up to $10,000 a week. When we finally tracked Dominic Nguyen down, he didn't seem too concerned about his customers' money. Yeah, we're sorting it out, though. You're sorting it out? Yeah. Because they haven't heard from you. Yeah, it's got to be one by one. What do you mean uh, one by one? I've got to sort out one customer at a time, right? So you're telling me that you're going to pay the money back to all of these people? Yes. Including ones that you've owed that are six months old? Yeah, because look, when, when I pay someone back, then I'll pay installments. Then he tried to blame his clients. Look, some customers, right? Sometimes jobs get delayed, yeah? Delayed? Yeah. Months? Well, he only goes on too much because they won't let, allow me to delay one or two weeks. I don't understand. What do you mean? Well, sometimes, you know, if I... If Where's I, the money? Where is the, the money? But these materials don't exist. They, they have do. never turned up. He's a grub, uh, dishonest, uh, low life. Jose says he too is still waiting for work to be finished at his home. Reassure me that the work will commence or be completed in a two to three week period. Um, again, it's been uh, triple the time. He wanted two new side gates, but like your Titian Maynard says, as soon as his $700 deposit was paid, the excuses started. He told me that his installers were uh, kind of busy under the pump, the uh, powder coating was taking longer than it should have. So I've allowed a bit of, uh, you know, a week or two or a week and a half or two, but then I kind of uh, figured maybe I've been taken for a ride here. While Jose's gates still sit unfinished, Maynard and Yatish have had to scrape together more cash to hire new contractors to finally get the job done. Do you not really feel ashamed, you know, taking uh, people's hard-earned money? How do you feel if I took, you know, everything that you had? 
Well, despite Dominic telling us he was in the process of paying back each of his clients, so far the ones we've spoken to haven't received a cent.